So you're playing Pokemon on an Android device using an emulator, and now you're stuck because you can't get Pokemon like Alakazam, or Champ, Scizor, or one of the other many Pokemon that have unique requirements that are necessary to get him to evolve. Well, what do you do? You can't trade, you're using an emulator. It doesn't really work like that. But there are some ways to do this, and I've been noticing a lot on this channel where I'm getting a lot of comments, um, especially after I made that video on how to get any Pokemon to evolve uh, using an emulator. And I made that for PC. I wasn't really expecting people to ask me how to do it on Android, but I think I may have the answer for you. So I was taking a look at the ROM files, and I realized that ROMs, there's not, there's not an Android-specific ROM. And even more so for like GBA for iOS for Apple devices, there's not a ROM specifically for iOS either. In fact, the ROMs should be able to work on Windows or Android or Mac OS or iOS. It can work on anything. You don't need to have a specific ROM for that platform. That being said, that means that you could basically follow the instructions in my previous video using the uh, randomizer and all the details therein and make the ROM that you would like. Now the trick is all you gotta do is find a way to get that ROM over to that particular device. You can use a ton of different online storage centers to do that. Google Drive, Dropbox, Box, uh, iCloud Drive, there's tons. So basically this is what you do. Go to, the, go to my video and watch on how to make the ROM of your choice with the necessary changes. And if all you're trying to do is make it so you can evolve Kadabra and Alakazam by leveling up, or evolve uh, other Pokemon just by leveling up, or hold an item and then leveling up, then follow the instructions. Follow it exactly as I made it, and you're good. At the very end, it should spit out the ROM of your choice for whatever game that you've chosen. For me, in that video, I believe I was using Pokemon Emerald as the example. Follow the steps, take that ROM, drop it into one of the online storage centers, and then open it up on your iPhone or your Android device, your tablet, whatever. Open it up and then import it into your particular emulator of choice. And that's all you gotta do. Now, there is another method that I found. Um, I was doing some research on this just to verify, and I came across a video that uh, Lance the Dragon Master made. I've got the link down in the description box, and he details that using a certain emulator called Old Boy for Android, not too familiar with it, but it seems to be a popular emulator, at least over the past few years, where you can open up two instances on the same emulator and essentially play two games at the same time. So what does that matter? Well. Imagine that you have Pokemon Red, and imagine you have Pokemon Blue. You've got both ROMs within the old boy emulator on your Android device. If I can open up two instances and load them simultaneously so they're both open and running at the same time, that makes it seem like there's two different players, right? Or if you were like me back in the day, you had two Game Boys, both red and blue, and you were trading back and forth between yourself because you had no friends. But uh, basically what this will do is it allows you to use the local trade using the in-game menu options specifically for old boy and trade with yourself so if you want to trade a, a weedle for a cadabra from red to blue or whatever combination they're uh, they're in and then get that cadabra over to the game that you want and get it to evolve to alakazam you can totally do that or you can just trade it over get it to evolve and trade it back to the original game whatever you want to do but basically you're just going to run two games at the exact same time and you're going to trade with yourself locally the, like I said, the description box below will have that link, so if you want to follow his instructions, you can do that. Um, those, are, those are the two primary methods of being able to do this. But essentially, my most recommended way of doing it is to just go ahead and make the ROM file on Windows. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to access Windows. Make that ROM, um, have all the changes that you want to be in there, and then just load it up. Dropbox, whatever, Google Drive, and then open it up on uh, on the device that you want to play it as. And then boom, there you go. That ROM will have all the changes that you wanted. Now, you'll have to find a way, probably the same exact method to move over your save file and go from there. Um, that shouldn't be too hard. I think the instructions that I have in the video that I made for the emulator on PC, for the most part, should cover the majority of details or questions that you may have. Make sure your save file name matches the name of the emulator. So I think um, in the example that I made, I, I named the, the emerald copy with the changes, the ROM, like emerald underscore at evos or something like that for evolutions or whatever and then i made my save file i copied that and i renamed it to emerald underscore evos to match the the game the game and the save file have to the same names to match the extensions don't matter because obviously one is a dot sav and the other one is a is a dot rom um or not necessarily a dot rom but a dot whatever for a rom um, and then they'll link up the names besides the extension if the names match you should be fine and then import them into the games you know or the roms or the emulators rather 
however you want. Like, that's fine. Just import them and you're good. That's all you gotta do. And I think that's pretty much the only thing that you need to do. If you do any research and you look online, you're gonna find that there is nothing at all about Android-specific ROMs. Now, the emulator might be different, though. So as I mentioned before, on iOS, you can get GBA for iOS, or you can get Visual Boy Advance, the popular uh, Game Boy Advance emulator on PC. There are, there are alternatives for Android that you can find that do the exact same thing. But the same games, the same ROM files, because the game and the ROM, it's the same thing, you can move those from different platforms and you can play them all across the board. It's super simple. That's it. The ROM is the game. Make the changes using the randomizer instructions that I made in that video. The instructions for that are below as well, so just follow that. Make your changes, make your edits, get the ROM exactly as you want it, save it online, and then import that into one of your many devices. And if you look at things like Google Drive or Dropbox, they give you a, a decent amount of storage for free. Okay, like many gigabytes, I think at least five gigabytes for free with the options of doing uh, more options to get more storage space. But you shouldn't even need that. I think if you have five gigabytes or maybe even one gigabyte, you should be perfectly fine because most ROM files, like a Pokemon game, a single Pokemon game, if you take a Pokemon game and you have that ROM, it's like 25 megabytes or something like that. It's nothing. It's like, it's not even a gigabyte. Those games take up like no space. So when you make the changes with your ROM and you create the version of the game that you want, like I did with Emerald, so that way I can evolve Kadabra into Alakazam just by leveling up, that spit out a copy of the ROM that wasn't even a gigabyte in size. So it shouldn't be hard to import and you shouldn't run into any sort of like delays or stalls or weird things like that, unless you have some other unusual circumstances interfering with your technology. But if you follow what I'm saying, it shouldn't be very difficult. All you gotta do, make the changes, import it to your online storage center, hop on the device that you wanna play the game on, find an emulator for it, which is infinitely easier on Android devices in particular, which is what you guys were asking about, and then just save that file to it. That's all you gotta do. It's as simple as that. It's not that hard. If you guys run into any trouble, let me know in the comments. I always wanna try to do my best to help you. I can't tell you that I am a master at ROMs and emulators, but I've got some ideas and uh, we can troubleshoot together, we can figure it out. This can be kind of like an online forum. You guys can talk to each other, you guys can recommend stuff, we can figure it out, and I'll address any sort of issues that I know of uh, as long as I've got solutions for them in replies to your comments. So let me know what you think. If, uh, if there's any corrections to what I've, that I, you wanna make to what I've said, let me know in the comments and we'll figure it out together. I just wanna help you. I wanna make sure that you guys can get the game that you want on the platform that you want so you can play the way that you want. And I think this video, for the most part, summarizes exactly how to do that. So anyway, hopefully that helps and clears the air just a little bit. If you guys have any further questions, like I said, leave some comments and I'll try to answer as much as I can. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this was useful in some way. Thank you guys for your time. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time uh, when I make another video on whatever it is you guys tell me to make. <laughs> all right, take care guys, have a good one.